Welcome to 2026. Now, I want to get straight to the point and I want to share with you the different tools that you need to learn in this year to be AI ready. Now, a lot of this really depends on your current situation, your requirement, generally your comfort level with tech. But that being said, there is an AI tool out there for everyone that one should master. So what I have done is I am going to take a broad spectrum in this video, whether you are a builder, whether you are a business owner, whether you are a designer or whether you are a marketer. I'm going to share different tools for each one of you. Now, please feel free to skip to the section that are not relevant to you. I've marked them and I've categorized them accordingly. A quick disclaimer before we get into it. All opinions are my own and do not belong to my current employer. With that, let's get started. So here are the different personas and apps that I'm going to cover. Number one will be the builder. You are someone who is basically building an app, building a website or building an agent. So in this one, I'm going to cover Google AI Studio and Google Agent Development Kit. We'll also touch upon Google Anti-Gravity. Now, this one is for those who may not really want to write code, but have a broader level of understanding of how to deploy this, especially when you're looking at a full-scale deployment. So the second persona is the creator persona. So this is someone who basically designs the UX or wants to tell a story visually. So the tools that I'm going to cover in this will be Google Stitch and Google Opal. Now, the third one will be more around business and marketing, right? So if you're a business owner or a marketeer, this will be very interesting for you. So I'm going to cover Notebook LM, Google Pomeli as part of that. All right, please feel free to watch the whole video because there's something for everyone here and we can all learn from each other. So with that, let's get into our first tool. All right, so the first tool that I'm going to cover is Google AI Studio. This is by far my most favorite tool across the entire Google AI ecosystem. It was originally built where Google would you know, put forward their models for developers to interact with, as well as for developers to get the API key. But then now this has become like a complete powerhouse. So you can see you can build full-blown applications. So they introduced the wipe coding capability in the last few months. You obviously have the capability to chat with different types of models. We'll get into that. And then they also added the capability to monitor the usage of the API, which is very critical if you're running multiple projects and if you have a lot of developers, right? So if you click on the chat with models, this is where all different models of Google, you know, that Google releases will come right here at first, right? So you can see you, they have the Gemini 3, Nano Banana, Gemini 3 Flash, even the older models are here. And then depending on your use case, right? So you also have the live model, which allows you to have a conversation. So you can click on the webcam and it will start having a conversation with you. So this is powered by the live Gemini Live, which is a fantastic one. I've made some videos on that. You can also share your screen. You can you could basically talk to this particular application, right? So that's Gemini Flash Live for you. Then you have obviously the image creation models, the very famous and very own Nano Banana. But then you also have some other interesting image models. So for example, Imagine 4, right? This is more for you to create like the base level or the original image in high resolution and all of the, these different aspects. You can see different resolutions as well. And Nano Banana was more initially designed to do editing. Now, obviously, all of these models have really evolved, right? And then you obviously have the video generation model, which is their Veo model. Um, then you have the audio model. So I recently also made um, uh, a voice agent using this. You have the TTS, uh, both Pro and Flash files, Flash models over here, right? So these are all the different models that you have. And you can obviously go ahead and have a conversation with them. Now, this also provides you a lot of flexibility in the way you would want to have the conversation, right? So here, while having the conversation with Gemini 3 Pro, you have the capability to also use tools, right? So you can actually ask the Gemini Pro to execute code. You can do function calling. And then you also have the URL context. So when you're providing a URL, if you switch this on, then it will be able to get all the details. Basically, the stuff that can be scraped, which is allowed and which is legal, it should be able to get that data from there. And you have some advanced settings as well. You have the safety settings and stuff like that, which comes very handy. So this is the first level where you can see how you can interact with it. One of the other features which I love about this is you can actually save multiple system instructions so you don't have to do this multiple times. So you can give it a persona of a marketing strategist and then save it. You can give it a persona of financial strategist and save it. So you can have like multiple instructions or custom instructions saved here. And then whenever you're chatting, you can just select that um, and then it will do the job, right? So that, that was how you will interact with the models. Really straightforward, but Google has this where you can see all their latest models all in one place, all right? So that is the first aspect of AI Studio, which is playing with the models. All right, so the next aspect of this is going to be my favorite section, which is building apps just by writing something. So this is basically wipe coding in AI Studio. 
I have done so much work on this one and all the apps that you have seen in my videos. I have used Google AI Studio to create those apps and also have deployed this in production, right? So you can already see that there are a lot of these existing apps which are available. So you can go and look into their existing app gallery and then you have the capability to go ahead and remix it, right? So you can see all of these beautiful websites that people have built, which is now available. And then you should be able to just get started. Now, if you guys are interested in me going deeper into this particular aspect of it and making a full blown, full stack website using this plus Firebase, do let me know in the comment section and I'll be happy to make it. So that was the build section. The third one that, that they've recently added is really more around dashboard, which gives you a really good idea of your usage and billing and all of those things. So you can see that if I click on this particular project of mine, this has been my usage for the last few days. And, and this is also where you can go ahead and create like an API key. So you, will, you can give a name to the API key and select the cloud project and you should be able to create an API key that you can use across the board, especially if you're using Nano Banana Pro, you will need the API key. So usually this is the fastest, quickest way for you to get the API key for any of the Google a Gemini work that you're doing. All right. So that was a quick run through of Google AI Studio. Please do let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested in a much more deeper dive, especially if you want me to build an app and also deploy it. As I said before, I'll be very happy to make it. All right. So with that, let's move to the second one, which is another favorite of mine, which is building agents using Google Agent Development Kit. All right. So right now I am in Visual Builder, which is the latest release as part of the Agent Development Kit which really allows you to build AI agents using ADK framework visually by just writing plain English, right? So this is something most of the people think that ADK is very code heavy, which is not incorrect, but this is where you have this additional capability for you to visually create agents without writing a piece of code. So I'm just going to use this and start having a conversation. So this is the assistant that is part of ADK. And I'm going to ask it to create an agent like this where I'm going to say that I wanted to build a multi-agent system which will greet the user by saying I'm Surya's agent and then it is going to take an input from the user and based on the input basically it will research for that particular company figure out the stock ticker for that particular company and come back with some financial information it will use the Google search tool to figure out that information so now it has understood the use case it is asking like which particular model that I want to use I'm going to just go with default so it's going to use the Gemini 2.5 flash model and then it is going to provide us a bunch of more details and take our approval before it starts writing the files for us, right? So you can see that it does a pretty good job in really comprehending the use case or the requirement that we have. And then based on that, you can see that it's already given a very detailed understanding of this, this will be the file structure, this will be the root agent, this will be the sub agent and the different types of agents that Google ADK offers, right? So all of those will be built under the hood. And the biggest part here is it automatically figures out what will be the tool that it will use. So I'm just going to go ahead and say yes. And you can already see that it is going to use Google search tool, which is another amazing feature of Agent Development Kit, because here you are able to use all of these built-in tools, Google search, you also have context tools and stuff like that. So it's going to do all of that for us, right? So I'm going to say yes. And it, it oh, by the way, it has already created. So I already said yes. So it is that fast. And you can see that it has gone ahead and done that. This is basically the orchestrator this is the workflow and this will be the greeter. This is the finder, which will be using the Google search tool. And then this is the report creator. So I'm just going to save it. And then I come back and this is the agent that I just built. All right. So I'm just going to start interacting with the agent by saying hi, and it should be able to start responding to me. Okay. So it says, hello, this is Surya's AI agent, which company are you interested in? I'm going to say NVIDIA. And then what it should really do is it should, it should be able to go and get the context from here. And you can see already, it is already looking into different events and you can see it's a full blown agent for us, right? So you can see it has done its job and it has already come back. It was so damn quick, but it has already come back with a comprehensive research report, right? And that is the power of the agent here. So you can build multiple agents using this. If you guys are interested in me going deeper, please let me know in the comment section and I will be happy to make, you know, more deeper videos on how to build this both using Visual Builder and also using code and then also to deploy this in production, okay? So that was the second tool I wanted to cover both from a builder perspective. Another tool that they have from a builder perspective is Google Anti-Gravity. I also love this tool. This is more of an agentic way of running multiple different projects and allowing agents to build your end-to-end -end applications from scratch, right? So this is more of an IDE's next evolution, which you can download and use. And you can see a lot of different use cases which have been described over here. So this will really build 
a full stack app for you and you have much more granular control over code. So if you are more comfortable in coding and really really trying to solve more complicated, complex, scalable problems, then I would highly recommend you look into anti-gravity and use this. If you are looking at lightweight projects, then obviously AI Studio will also build you full stack applications. You could also export the output of AI Studio and import it in anti-gravity to take the power of this as well. Let me know again in the comment section if you guys are interested in me going deeper into Google anti-gravity and build a couple of apps for you and showcase how it works. Specifically, the coolest thing about this is, which is a unique in the industry, is its agent manager, which allows you to run multiple projects in an agentic way simultaneously. All right. So those were the three different tools I wanted to cover from a builder perspective. We covered AI Studio, Anti-Gravity, and then Google Agent Development Kits, Visual Builder. All right. Now let's move on to the next set of tools. So the next tool that I wanted to cover really quickly is Google Stitch. Now Google Stitch is really a UX design tool that allows you to build or design apps very quickly. For example, if I say make an app for people who love skiing in the Alps, right? So I can like send this command and it's going to get to work and it's going to start designing the app pretty quickly. Now, the beauty of this is more geared towards someone who is a UX designer who would want to see the end-to-end -end experience before actually starting to write the code, right? So this is very powerful and then you can actually work with the designs and you can see it is, it's already started to build this. You can change each one of the specific designs. You can go much more deeper before you start building the app, right? So this is like a really cool feature where the focus would be the user experience. And then once you're satisfied with this, and what they have also done is you can now export the output into Google AI Studio, which we just saw in the previous section, to, to actually make it a full-blown app. So let's see what it comes back with. And then I'll also show you the next level of functionality. All right, so it has done its job and you can see how beautiful this particular app looks and you can see all different screens. So this is the welcome screen. This is the resort selection. This is a ski dashboard. This is the run tracking. This is a user profile. So they've really done a good job and this is just a right out of the box, right? And then you can also like select the different ones and you can describe changes. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this. But the best thing that I like about this is you can select all of this and then you have the option to export. And then there you go, you can actually export it directly to AI Studio, which is groundbreaking because now, you know, you can convert everything to full blown app by writing this code and also with the exact designs. Now, this is where all of this kind of comes together, right? And AI Studio, as you saw, right, you don't really need to know how to write the codes. You can actually write something in English as a prompt. You already have the designs from here, which also came via prompt. So you can actually build this whole app there end to end from design uh, to, to production just using just by connecting these two different things, right? So hopefully this was helpful. Now, again, if you want me to go deeper into this, please let me know in the comment section. I'm happy to make uh, another video focusing on Stitch. So that was the first one which I wanted to cover under this particular section. Now, let's move to another favorite of mine, which is Google Opal. All right, so now I'm in Opal. Opal is really a fast way to build mini apps without writing a single line of code. So we'll see this in action. So let's click on this. And I'm just going to say that generate three compelling YouTube thumbnail concepts with your image, right? So basically what I'm really asking is if I upload my image, generate different thumbnails for YouTube, maybe also ask me for, for a video description, right? It's going to be that simple one line prompt. And then the idea is because Google has all of these different models, Opal will go ahead and stitch everything together and then come back to us with this, right? So there you go. So it is asking for a video topic. So we can start with this. So enter the video topic or description. So I'm just going to upload actually my image. I just uploaded the image here. And then based on that, it should be able to look into that and understand that and then come back with a quick thumbnail. And that's the idea. This whole app was built right in front of you in like literally less than a minute, right? And that is the power of Opal. The most latest development is Opal is also available as part of Gems. Now you need to verify if that is available for the free version or pro version. I'm not 1000% sure, but that is something where we can look into the documentation and figure it out. But at least for the pro version, I'm sure that it is available. So please check it out. This The same functionality is available. You may not, you will not be able to see something like this in detail, but you will be able to create Opal directly in, in that. So there you go. You can also see this as full screen and you can see the different concepts that it has generated, right? So AI skills in 2026, unlock Google AI, unlock your genius. I just love it. So I gave this as the original image and you can see, you know, how wonderful it has all these additional images. So just with one single line of text, 
it has created this whole app for us. So that is Google Opal. All right. So let's move on to the next one. All right. So the next one that we're going to look at is Google Pomeli. This is really a blessing for anyone who is in the marketing side of the house or even for small medium business owners because this allows you to create social media campaigns very quickly. All right. So this is one of my favorite cake shops here in Austin, which is Bun Cakes. Now, let me see if I am able to ask Pomeli to generate social media campaigns for it. So the first thing it will do is it is going to generate the business DNA. That means it's going to go through the website, figure out its brand tones, brand colors, and all of those things. And then it will come back with the overall DNA, right? And once you have that, then you will be able to create social media campaigns very quickly. We'll see this live in action. Right now, it is doing the job and it is usually pretty quick. It says it takes about five minutes, but usually it is faster than that. It also really depends on the size of the website, right? But we should be able to see this pretty quickly. All right, so it has done its job. You can see that it has extracted a lot of images. It has figured out some of the taglines, brand aesthetic, brand tone, and all of those things. And also like the business overview, I'm going to click on looks good. And then it's already suggesting some of the campaigns, right? So new year, new joyful treats. And this is just awesome. So we can also click on animate and you can create like multiple different campaigns. You can describe the campaign of your choice as well. And you should see that it is doing a wonderful job. The key thing here is all of these images that you're seeing over here are the images that actually come from here, right? So you can see this is the image which was there, which is here as well, right? So it is really customized for that particular brand, automatically created for different social media channels for you in literally seconds, right? So this is something which is awesome. And I believe every marketer and small business owner should be aware of this and should take advantage of this, all right? So that was another one that I wanted to cover Let's move to the next one. So the last one is Notebook LM and I have covered this extensively in the last few videos. I'll be happy to share the links in the description, but it, it's pretty straightforward, right? This is where you have the ability to do deep research and really ground the information based on your data. So you have the capability to upload files. You have the capability to upload URLs as well as YouTube videos, which is very interesting. Then you can also use a deep research agent. I just made a video on the deep research agent capability as well. And I'm, I'll be linking that in the description. And once you upload all of those things, you have now the capability to create all of these different things, which is really a superpower when it comes to understanding your own information and extracting the knowledge out of your own information, right? So that, that is Notebook LM for you. As I mentioned, I will share some of the videos where I go much more detail into Notebook LM for you. And you can definitely refer to that. But this one is one of the most loved apps out there, which almost everybody is raging about. So I would highly recommend to learn about this and use this. So those were the key skills and tools that I wanted to cover today in this video. As you can see, it's a lot, right? You don't have to learn everything and be an expert in everything. Really, depending on your situation and your skill set and your inclination, you should grab a few of these and then really try to master them. I would be very interested to hear from you guys on which are the different ones you are interested in me going deeper and making videos, which will be helpful for you. So please do let me know in the comment section and I'll be happy to make more deep dives on those and would also be interested in identifying who you are, right? In all of these different personas, where do you fall so that I can also customize my content for you guys, right? So that was it from my end. Welcome again to 2026. This year is going to be very exciting. Thank you to everyone who has been watching my videos and leaving some wonderful reviews and comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you for your time once again, and I will see you in the next one.